Hi guys, it's Dicer Friend, and it's time for a commentary this time around, and this time we're going to commentate on a game I made called Chef. Chef mm -hmm. is a stop-motion based, uh, kind of interactive story, interactive mm -hmm. video kind of thing. It's not quite a game, but then again, mm. who can really define a game? It's just something you play and you enjoy, and a lot of people got a bunch of laughs out of it, so that's kind of great. That's kind of the whole thing. But uh, basically, what Chef is, is it's kind of like a little cooking game. You can kind of like cook what you want and kind of do whatever you want. You can choose to follow the recipe if you want, but if you don't want to, that's totally fine as well. So just do whatever you liked and just put stuff in the pot. So that's kind of cool, right? And um, one thing that's pretty cool is that Chef was actually nominated as one of the best PC free PC games of the week by PC Gamer. And I thought that was pretty neat because when I found that out, I was like, oh man, like... I just made this over like two weeks and it was a lot of fun. I didn't expect that to happen. Uh, so that was really cool. And a lot of people are actually doing a lot of Let's Plays on it. And I'm really, really happy about that. So those of you who are making Let's Play on it, thanks a lot for all the publicity and stuff. So anyways, uh, more about the game. I spent about two weeks filming for this. It was quite a bit. I think the frames, the total frames of this was somewhere around 3,000. If those of you who are unfamiliar with stop motion, you actually have to take a picture and then move the little clay figure a little bit, take another picture, move a little bit. So it was about 3,000 pictures for maybe a um, four minute claymation thing. And then it's kind of just like interspliced through an HTML5 layout. It's pretty neat, pretty neat. Initially I wanted a lot more things, like a whole thing with a waiter and all, but uh, yeah, this is, this is all it came down to, but it was still pretty entertaining. There's a lot of uh, different things you can do with this game. And there's actually, um, Quite a few different outcomes as well, so those of you who want to play through this game, uh, look forward to the different outcomes. This is just one of the outcomes, I'm not going to show all of them, just because that takes away from the whole magical stuff that this game has. So, yeah, so this is like the good ending, you make the recipe correct, and he's all happy, and Chef is all happy too, and yeah, that's, that's how the game is played, guys. So, um... Yeah, if, you, if those of you who are interested in playing who haven't played yet, there's a link in the video description below. So go ahead, guys, and play it and have fun.